check our empty slots again and then we're going to break break outside of the for loop so this again also needs to add I also need to add a equipped function so if there were if the ID wasn't in the inventory then we need to check if it was in the equipped section but then again I will add that in the future so down to the check empty slot function so for every item in the inventory um, we're going to check if the item name is equal to blank if, if it's not equal not equal to blank if it is not equal to blank so if there's something there we're going to say if the item before it if the item name of the item before it is equal to blank so if there's a space before um, an item so say if there's an M9 here if there's a blank here then we're going to debug.log so we're going to tell the uh, person who's we're going to debug we're going to say that hey there is a spare slot before and then we're going to say the spare slot before is equal to the slot that is in front of it and then we're going to set the slot that was in front of it equal to blank um, again I think I need to actually no I don't need to do anything for inventory uh, equipped for that because the equipped is a set section so it's like weapon ammo and then each different type of thing but what I might do is eventually change that and we'll see what happens with that so um, then we get on to the total item type so this is a new one I added so public int total item type so this is going to return an integer and we're going to give it an integer called ID and we're going to set total items to zero the, the um, variable we declared above then we're going to say for every item in the inventory if that I if the item ID is equal to the ID that we're setting then we're going to add one to the total item so it's just going to count the number in our inventory that we have if there's more than one entity but this I added this before I added the um, thing where you um, add all the entities up and you make it have a total um, number of them a variable of total numbers so this one's rarely going to be used if at all um, then we're going to debug that log and it's going to say this is how many items are in the inventory and then we're going to return the number of um, items that we um, that there is for that ID um, so then we next go on to the equipped item um, function which again I created so public void it's going to return nothing equipped item um, int it's going to require an integer of slot called slot and then we're going to say if you if the slot is equal to zero so I only obviously I only use it for zero at the moment if it's equal to zero then we're going to set the equipped slot so we're going to set equipped zero so the weapon slot we're going to set the item name to M9 um, and this is just testing so we need to change it so that it's not equal to M9 oh no sorry this is check so if it is equal to M9 so this is we're gonna have one of these if statements for every single weapon and it's probably not the best way to do it but it's the way I'm doing it um, because I just I just came up with it um, so what you're gonna do is set the M9 yeah if it, if it is equal to M9 then we're gonna debug the log done so this is a check thing for me then it's we're going to go the object that we give it as declared above that I said the M9 object we're going to set the renderer equal to enabled so we're going to set renderer enabled dot enabled equals true so the renderer for that game object is going to be true so you're going to be able to see it. and then we're going to set that active dot set active is equal to true again oh not equal to true bracket true bracket then we're going to debug the log done two, and I was able to double check that both were working by seeing done one done two. so that is probably not the best way to do it but that's the way I've done it at the moment it might change in the future but that's just the way I've done it so what it's this means is that that every weapon has to be on the player at the time it's just unrendered and unactive it's set to it's not active and then you need to activate it each time you click if that object is active is is in your slot equipped slot so that's not the best way to do it but 
that's still where we're doing it for now. So then we go on to the um, put in inventory function. So it's going to be public. It's going to return nothing. It's going to put in inventory int. It's going to require an int of type slot called slot again. If slot is equal to if slot equals zero. So if it's a weapon slot, then if the item name is M9, then we're going to go um, renderer don enabled equals false and the set active is equal to false. So this is essentially the opposite of equipped item. What it does is we're, we're actually not in this section, in this put in inventory, we're not actually doing dealing with any numbers of how many there are and removing it from the actual equipped slot in the inventory. That's in the actual thing, which we could put down here, but um, at the moment we haven't. So what this does is just, it makes it invisible essentially, and makes it inactive in the game makes the game object inactive. So that is that. Um, if you have any errors or problems just send me an email. Once again I just realized that I had forgot to zoom my code in which really really annoys me. So I'm just going to go slowly through it and actually check while I have for any equipped um, sections that I missed out. I'll just scroll across to see scroll across to see this one so just pause at any time if you had trouble seeing it and again I apologize that really really annoys me that I forgot that and again yes so just pause it at any time if you've got any problems I'm not going to change that to equipped I'm going to change it to equipped and save that and hopefully that was alright Sorry about that, and the next thing I changed was the item database. And so in item database, the same, it's all the same. All I did was add this nothing type. Um, so item dot add bracket new item bracket blank. So just two parentheses, uh, question quotation marks. Then it's going to be zero. It's going to have the ID zero. So zero is going to be blank. It's going to have the blank. Then it's going to be item dot item type dot nothing. But this isn't already in yours. It is in mine. But we'll go in, get into that in a second. Then zero zero zero. All of these is going to be zero. So just do whatever you did for yours, and that's fine. Then I change this one to one. Change this one to two, and I added this one in, which you don't need to add in at the moment. But this is just my sort of test one. So item dot add new item bracket chair three. You can sit on me. Item dot item type of type nothing. Then they were all zeros. And I might change this dot nothing to something like placeable or something like that. So then we go on to the item script and the things I changed in here was add a total number. So public integer total number to the bottom here. So we're gonna have give it a new variable called total number as we've been discussing in the inventory script and we're going to add this nothing so make sure you put that bracket between after bullet and change that to nothing and well not to add nothing then we're going to quickly have to add down at the bottom of at the end of this um, function class thing um, and go comma int space total no and no for number obviously and then we're going to go down here and set total number equals to total no and then that ending thing so that's what we're doing that's what we did for this one and you should understand why we did that if you've seen the previous inventory videos um, because that is exactly the same as what we did before so then the last thing I did was create a um, test item pickup script and I will um, create this script actually because I've actually got a test one so I have to find this. Um, Actually, first of all, we'll go through the M9 script. So the M9 script, um, we added a private inventory of type inventory and a private item data item database as of type database, and that's that. So then we just copied these lines from the other ones that we used that I used, 
um, so find with tag inventory and item database and that just gets the item database scripts in our thing so as soon as we start this game logic we're going to set the renderer dot enabled equal to false and the set active to false so as soon as the game starts the object is going to be in our hands it's going to be technically in our hands but it's going to be not active and it's not going to be able to be seen it's not going to be rendered for the player to see so there are better ways to do it but that's the way I'm doing it for now so yeah and then we're going to add this to inventory to I added I updated the update function so I think I added if inventory dot equipped equipped type one so if the equip slot of one dot item name is equal to M9 bullet so if there is ammo for this in the equipped slot for this gun then we're gonna say if it's greater than one if the slot if if the number in our inventory if the number of bullets we have is greater than one greater than or equal to one so if we've got more than zero then we're going to which that's just a test sort of line we or we already have other tests in place to check if we have more than zero so then we're going to say if we've got more than zero then we're going to um, do our normal thing animation is playing is equals equals false then we're going to say if we get the, if we click the fire button then we're going to say and these are the ones I added I think these are the only two I added um, yeah that looks like it so if inventory dot equipped um, so if in the slot if the ammo in the slot is equal to one so if we only have one bullet left then we're going to subtract one bullet from it and then we're going to set the dart then we're going to set the ammo the ammo slot to blank and then if the inventory if the total number so if you have two or more then we're going to just subtract one subtract one from the total number and that's how I did that um those bits and pieces I did um Uh, don't worry about any of these these three this one we need and that test pickup we need um, I'll quickly go through this one and then that'll be it for this these episodes this uh, episode part um, because I need to, I can't, don't have time to quickly go through these, but we don't really need them at the moment. Um, all we need is this one to get the inventory working. So, just create a new script. I'll quickly do that. So, scripts, inventory, inventory, create, new C sharp script, and we'll just go cam, camera, disable. I'm going to open that one up. And we're going to go just create. I'll just copy this stuff over and discuss it. So, public inventory inventory. So, we're setting the inventory script as a, uh, a variable so we can access the, yeah, access the inventory script. Then, we're going to go um, create a private integer called counter. That's a counter again to check things if we're working. Then, a private bool wait active. And I don't think I even use that anymore. Yeah, I don't. Um, then we're going to do... I'm just going to copy-paste this line again because this is exactly the same thing that we've been using over and over again um, for pretty much every script. Um, so inventory is... We're going to find the inventory script and we're going to use that. And then we're down here, we're going to go if the inventory... So we're going to grab the inventory um, script... And we're going to say if the show inventory is equal to if if the variable show inventory is equal to true, then we're going to set this game object. So this game object, this script is going to be on the camera. So it's going to say the camera. If we're going to set the if the show inventory is equal to true, then we're going to set the active of the camera. So that tick box in the top that I showed you, we're going to set to false. So the camera is not active, and you only see the GUI rendered. Um, so that's all of that. Um, got probably a lot more errors, and we'll, I'll just go through and fix all these. These are all just equipped, equipped.
equipped errors. Um, equipped. Control S and then placeholder. This one you guys don't actually have yet, but we'll get on to that. We will get on to that. Um, but uh, just wait until the next episode and that should be should have that so we're going to go into the inventory inventory and put this camera dis disable on to the first not first person control but the main camera on there so you're going to have that disable camera there and I'm just going to remove this component because you guys don't have it yet and we're only going to have this disable one so the inventory script that's going to find it um, one thing to make sure everything needs to be tagged pretty much everything needs to be tagged your plan needs to be tagged item database your inventory all of that stuff all of that really fun fun stuff we need to tag um, the m9 gun as well where is it where is it? oh it's part of yep this one m9 I've tagged that one as well you guys know how to tag you should by now at least um, m9 gun we use we do use that um, so just tag that one and that's cool um, test item pickup great we don't actually have that yet um, I can't show you the pickup at the moment because I don't have time to go through the script at the moment sorry unfortunately um, so all we're going to do is click play see if that all works and then click I and it should give you this on render screen and I and I, that was error so that's your equipment bar and that's the thing so M9 is of type weapon so it should go to slot 0 so if we click it it goes to slot 0 if we click it again it goes back to inventory click it it's now in inventory and hey we can see it we click it it goes away that is it fully working you guys might have an error because um, I haven't covered something accidentally um, I do apologize if that is the case um, and I have something attached that you guys don't have but I hope that works and I hope you guys are able to understand it at least a little bit if you do have errors please feel free to email me and um, thanks for watching um, and thanks for sticking with me um, so just remember, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.